All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachachwadash, for the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, preaching and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Shalom. Barakatham. Uh, and this is going to be uh, just a quick revisiting of uh, blockchain technology and its role. Uh, in the mark of the beast, which is a uh, a very major major prophecy that's getting ready to uh, to come true, and it, it is coming true. I was seeing brothers going in on videos um, related to you know the mark, and uh, and one connection to it that a lot of Jakes don't want to see because it's easy to get distracted on on one side of it with Maxine the jab trying to uh you know he he he's trying to dispel the idea that the chip is is going to be in that and you know I don't believe it's going to be in the Maxine I think it's going to be it's going to be forced and first into your smartphone and then um and then it's going to be forced into a tiny device that they can just put in your right hand or in your forehead all right and when you read this article there's a beautiful article um, called fed coin will replace the paper dollar that I'll pull up in a second here um, it's undeniable that this is what is happening It's happening right before our eyes all right and uh, if you can't see that this is the mark then you don't have the understanding, all right? And and a lot of groups that, that were talking against the mark of the beast, I heard Apostle Dahar uh, say it, y'all gonna look crazy, man, all right? Because this is the true, this is the truth, and this, this is what we should be warning our people about, all right? Let's read a little bit on what blockchain is real quick. This is like an overview by uh, IBM, and IBM is, is a... Uh, Stands for International Business Machines, and they specialize in computer technology, servers, networks, uh, artificial intelligence. Um, they, you know, you name it. If it's computers, they 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 are specialists in it. Um, so it says blockchain defined. Blockchain is a shared immutable ledger that facilitates the process of recording transactions. And immutable means it's unchangeable. That word. Uh, Mute means goes back to change is whether you get the word mutation from. Um, so you can't reverse it. In other words, once you make a transaction, there is no going back and deleting it. There is no covering it up. It just it lives forever and it's decentralized. So, so you can't even hack a server to go uh, retrieve it because, you know, across its entire path, there's evidence of it. Um that facilitates the process of recording transactions and tracking assets in a business network. An asset can be tangible house, car, cash, or land, or intangible inter intellectual property, patents, copyrights, branding. Virtually anything of value can be tracked and traded on a blockchain network. All right. Now you can see what value this has to Esau because what does Esau want to do? What is what is written in Revelation 13? And those I got just a couple precepts. But truth be told, man, if you know Revelation 13 and 16, that's really all, that's really all you need to know, because this this is literally explaining Revelation 13 in, 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 in real in, in reality, you know. In, in in this time, I should say. What John Revelator saw over 2000 years ago. um you can literally see it happening. The, all of it's being laid out right before our eyes, man. It says reducing risk and cutting costs for all involved. Uh, it says why is blockchain, why blockchain is important. Uh, business run on information. The faster it's received and the more accurate it is, the better. Blockchain is ideal for delivering that information because it provides immediate, shared, and complete transparent information. All right, so there's no, there's not gonna be any more hiding, okay? Like right now, you spend fifty, fifty dollars on 
a transaction online, they might know it came from you and went to somebody else. But with blockchain, they're going to be they're going to know where you got that fifty dollars from previously. Like the actual dollars themselves will be trackable all the way back from the, the, its inception since it was created. They'll be able to follow it in a, in a giant path. So Esau is going to have complete visibility on everything. It says, uh, so lucky, where was I? Blockchain is ideal for delivering information because it provides immediate sh shared and complete transparent information stored on an immutable ledger, meaning you can't change it, that can be accessed only by permissioned network members. A blockchain network can track orders, payments, accounts, production, and much more. All right, because you have something called the Internet of Things that can also be uh, linked into blockchain technology. It's not just currency and money. All right. They can cut if they can cut off uh, a power company from from uh, giving power to your house. If, if you're on a list, you know, they can just say, nah, you know, we don't care. Even if someone else pay for it, you know, they can they can stop it because they can see where that power is going. All right. They can see uh, where the money that the pay for it came from, everything. This is this is a nightmare, you know, <laughs> and that's that's this is why it's one of the last prophecies, man, because, you know, humanity can't be ruled in this way for that that much longer. All hell's going to break loose, you know, and there's been oppressive regimes in the past, but it's never been. It's always been a region of the world, even if you go back to Greece or Rome, you know, or, or Persians, it's always been relegated to 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 one part of the world. This is going to touch every race. <laughs> every country, every continent. Crazy. It says a blockchain network can track orders, payments, and counts, production, and much more. And because members share a single view of the truth, you can see all details of a transaction end to end, giving you greater confidence as well as new efficiencies and opportunities. All right. So that's what the technology is doing. It's allowing you to see everything from end to end. So Imagine Esau turning money into this, all right? And so it makes sense when you go back and read Revelation 13 and 16. It says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor to uh, free and bond, all right? Because it, the only way you can affect rich people and poor people because most of the time, the problems that rich people have are not the same problems that poor people have. All right. So how would you affect them both in this scenario? Is if you didn't change the currency itself. This isn't this isn't a transfer of wealth. This is completely uh, changing everything to get more control over everyone. It says to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, that mark part is important, right? Because this is the technology, the software behind it that's backed. But, you know, you might ask, well, how is Esau going to get everyone to use it? Because right now you got Bitcoin. Used to be a, a, a Bitcoin used to be a dollar per coin, and now it's over $50,000 per coin. It literally multiplied 50,000 times, man. <laughs> you know? If you put a thousand dollars into it when it was a dollar, man, you you'd be worth fifty million dollars right now. Thousand dollars would be fifty million right now. <laughs> Over fifty million. That's crazy. All right. So let's read a little bit of this guy, and uh, again, this is a beautiful article. Maybe I'll put the link to it in the description. Actually, I'll do that. Um, it says Fed coin will replace the paper dollar. Now, actually, I'll just read it. It says time is running out. That was our message in yesterday's dispatch. I don't know when this. So this is last year, actually, uh, in July of 2020. Um, it says as I began to show you, the government is about to replace cash in your wallet with a new digital only dollar. 
this will be loosely based on Bitcoin. And why does he say loosely based on Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin is decentralized, right? Meaning there is no central person distributing the money. There is no there is no central place of where uh, people are controlling the flow of the money. All right. But it's still using blockchain technology. It's still the same technology is just implemented differently. If you uh, follow what I'm saying. So the reason it would be loosely based on Bitcoin is because it will be blockchain technology, but it's going to be centralized, it's going to be completely controlled by the Fed. <laughs> the, the, hey, and all that thing we just went over about what he can do, how much he can see the visibility. He can track everything from end to end. Esau is going to have that power if this if you know when this goes when this goes down all right it says uh and it won't be Citibank or Wells Fargo or JP Morgan Chase that issues these new dollars it will be America's central bank the Federal Reserve or Fed all right legacy research co-founder Doug Casey calls this new digital only dollar fed coin all right so you're going to have something called universal basic income where the government is going to be distributing money. But see, people think it's just going to be dollars that you can just spend anywhere you want. No. You know, this if if this Fed coin pops off in the next few months when they start giving out these checks or even stimulus checks, they could they could make that. They could flip the switch on this right now. That's what brothers don't understand is that banking for all act. They already have the legal infrastructure to do this, you know, and it's all digital. So it, they don't have to print a bunch of money physically. They they can literally, they could have servers set up right now and just turn that shit on and say, look, if you want the $1,400 stimulus, you got to download this wallet, <laughs> you know, to your smartphone and, and, and there you go, you know, and before you know it, the entire world is pivoting to this fed coin and he could he could convert the entirety of us dollars into fed coin if he wanted to and that goes into the world war three because that's going to be a major problem for these other nations so you can see how it how this whole thing could happen in a matter of months man and that's why you how i said it's going to come in as a thief in the night but men are watching and warning all right he sent men to watch and warn it says, uh, it says, and he, and as he and his chief analyst, Nick G and Bruno have been warning, it's going to be a disaster for your privacy. Remember, cause I just went over, it was, it could, you can track everything from end to end. You can, you can put things in categories and restrict purchases on things. Like you can't buy electronics with these fed coins, but you can, you know, you can get gas with these fed coins that's how much uh control he's going to have over it and and if it's put out by the fed he's going to have complete autonomy over what everyone spends man and that's why the scriptures it, it, it's written he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads because he's gonna it's little you're forcing people to do it they really don't have a choice they're not voting on this all right, this isn't going to go through Congress. As a matter of fact, Congress has already passed their, their legal permission, giving themselves permission to do this already. All right. So so they're going to cause this to happen. They're going to force you to do it. And that's that's what you have to uh, come to grips with. It says uh, it's also going to trigger the mother of all rallies in our favorite decentralized currencies, Bitcoin and gold. Now, you have to ask yourself if this causes a rally in gold and Bitcoin, why is Bitcoin right now already rallying? It's already over. I believe it hit fifty six thousand dollars in the past couple of days. See if I can find it. Oh, it's fifty-eight thousand dollars. It's about to hit sixty thousand dollars. Look at this. This is this is Bitcoin. 
from January. <laughs> Let's see a year. Look. It, it, it was less than $10,000 this time last year. And now it's almost 60000 But just look in the last month. Now the banking for all thing went in in uh, enacted in Jan January, I want to say. So it was thirty thousand, and it's up another, almost another thirty thousand. So it almost doubled. That's that's a rally, okay. So if he's saying here, it's going to trigger the mother of all rallies in our favorite decentralized currencies, Bitcoin and gold. That should tell you that this thing is close, man. Some some of these insiders they know that the Fed is getting is getting ready to make a Fed coin, you know. And and they're buying it. You got guys like Elon Musk. Let's get that real quick. Tesla billionaire Elon Musk made a stark Bitcoin and Ethereum price warning. Uh, Tesla Bitcoin Gambit already made a billion, more than 20, 20 profit from car sales. All right, so Elon made more on Bitcoin than he did in all of 2020 <laughs> on car sales, man. So Tesla or Elon Musk basically bought a bunch of Bitcoin. You know, and, and caused it to rally. So why is this guy buying it? Why is it rallying so much? These people know what's going on. All right. And I ain't trying to make this too long and drawn out. It says today I'll show you how the Fed will not only issue a crypto dollar, but also make sure Americans use it. All right. That's the important part. But first, it's important you have a clear picture of how Fedcoin will work and why it's so dangerous. And the title of this next segment, and this is a fairly long article. I highly encourage you brothers to read it. Um, it says Fedcoin will give the government a godlike ability to track wealth. Physical cash gives you anonymity because of, because it's offline. When you tra transact with dollar bills, only the other party to the deal have to know about it. But the only way to spend, receive, and store Fed coins will be via an app on your smartphone. All right, and there's not just going to be a smartphone. He's not going to stop there because not everybody. You can take the smartphone and throw it out. All right, he's not going. He's not going to be satisfied with that, as we re as you read. <laughs> in uh. In Habakkuk, we know who we're dealing with. Right, the the red horse. This is Habakkuk two and five. It says, "Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man that neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people." So this is his this is his mo, man. This is what's happening. This is how we know. What time we're in that Esau Elam is the is the uh, the villain of the entire story that you how about you mean how a is going to have to come deal with or will come deal with I should say so lucky. Uh, it says verse six shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long into him that laded himself with thick clay that thick clay goes into debt all right and look look at what he's doing you know he's taking the money system which is nothing but debt basically it's not backed by anything it's just it's just debt it's just a promise to pay in the future all right so you can see where this thing is going man you know how can you guys say that the mark of the beast is some type of philosophy? 
all right? You can't explain the economic side of it where it says no man will be able to buy or sell. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, Revelation 13 and 17, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, all right? And the number of his name is, is going to be inscribed, it's going to be written into this blockchain technology. You have barcode technology, you have tracking systems, all right? Man, this, this whole article is good. I'm going to have to definitely po post a link uh, to this article in the, in the description. Um, but you can see why we warn you about these things, man. You know? And, and there's just nothing to play with. And for you guys that say, uh, you know, it, it, it's being a police officer, it's an embargo, it's Christianity, it's it, it, it's something abstract, man. You're going off, man. Because we've already done those things. And the scriptures are explicit. It says if you worship that image, all right, this specific image, then you will you will be destroyed. Let's get Revelation 14 and 9, and then I'll I'll close this out. Um uh, Revelation 14 and 9 says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the image, worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, so you can see and, 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 right? Which means that the, the image of the beast is different from the mark of the beast. All right? If any man worship the beast, and his image, all right, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, all right. So that means either hand for you uh, guys that want to get simple on Revelation 13 and 16. Well, I'll just take it in my left hand. Go ahead and and watch and watch how the Most High destroys you <laughs> if you don't die a, a worse death for for trying to be uh simple, you know. It says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. All right. So it's saying if you do these things, you will be destroyed. So what you're basically saying is if you believed in Christianity, <laughs> then, then that's it. There's no repentance for you. When most of us came out of Christianity, man, what you're saying doesn't make sense. What you're saying, being a police officer, if you're a police officer right now, what these other uh, camps are trying to tell you is that you can't repent. That that the that the destruction is coming for you, you know, because they don't they don't understand what the mark of the beast is. But we're he sent. Uh, he pushed his truth out to the the true men of the Lord about what this thing is, and it's going to be undeniable. When this thing gets rolled out, when this blockchain system rolls out, when FedCoin and this chip gets gets rolled out, it's going to be undeniable what it is. And at that point, it's going to be the hour of temptation. All right. The Most High doesn't give you uh, this ambiguous, you know, uh, meaning of something where he 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 can so he can destroy you. He's going to make it clear. You're going to be able to make a clear and distinct decision to go against the Heavenly Father in that day. All right? It ain't going to be something that you can just kind of, this this fuzzy, vague uh, ideal or something that you can go off on. No. The Most High is clear and direct. He's a, he's a righteous being. You know? If you're going to do wickedness, it's going to be clear that you're doing that thing. And we've we've been warning you and telling you, and if you if you still can't see it, well then, the Most High isn't really dealing with you. All right. Let me read verse ten again. It says, "The same sh shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels 
and in the presence of the lamb, that means you're going to get hit with a missile. All right. And the, and Yahweh Shai and the angels and the elects that 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 didn't bow, that had that died in this thing or, or kept their faith, kept their garments. They're, they're going to witness you, you being burned up, destroyed. It says in the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever and they have no rest day nor night who worship the image and his beast and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name all right so that's clear man that's quite clear you know so i just wanted to revisit uh blockchain technology and the mark man because brothers was going in on it this this article is a uh, it's beautiful because this this proves it you know so with that hopefully y'all brothers were edified uh call hello yahweh by shim yahweh shai by hashem rachach kadash shalom wa abba ball